Tulsa heading south toward Danny Vidiello in the American River side of the stadium. Ricardo Fierro checking his watch, blows the whistle, and here we go from Heart Health Park. Six weeks in, and Lee Desmond continues his run forward as Ferry can't take him down. Sliding and slipping through. Lasso can't stay on his feet. Everybody, it's a slip and slide. There's a shot. Here's Ammon. It's a cross mark. It went in. Oh, no, no, just over. Well, Diallo is the uh, former son of uh, Mamadou Diallo, MLS, Tampa Bay, New England, Metro Stars. And now here is a shove and some further curricular activities is uh, another yellow will come out. This one's going to go against Lasso as he appeared to have kicked. And now a shove, and this has gotten out of control. And there's a red card, and Lasso is gone. And with Tulsa, they have every single player in the box. So even if they're able to clear it... it Roro, -ro, it's under Donovan, is denied! Rogan being able to do it, here's the follow-up. Not there. But that. Another cross denied by Segris. And straight away, Jacker is going to find Nick Ross. And it will, the pressure will keep mounting. Opportunity through, it sneaks in! Oh, it just dribbled through the wet grass! Rodrigo Lopez surprising everybody. And he gets it, Rodrigo Lopez picks it up in a great spot. And it takes a wicked deflection, which leaves the goalkeeper no chance. He's gone to his left, just can't get over far enough to his right. But the ball around the corner from Luis. That's what you get now with Ciceroni and Am, and you're really getting some serious opportunities to put the ball in the back of net for Sacramento, making different kinds of runs, different kinds of looks. Just think, you have Sebastian Herrera coming back, and then Kieran Phillips coming on loan. Could be available next week. Here's Rodrigo Lopez trying to find Ciceroni. Ciceroni shielding. Ciceroni with the left foot. Well, choosing the right health plan for you and your family is simple with Western Health Advantage. He'll read what's going on, and if it's not on, he'll just whip it in. Connor Donovan kicked it off his own face there. I think, <laughs> I think That's he did. A nice yeah. move. It was all the design play. This one's whipped right back in. A good looking header from Trevor Am, and it just misses target. Noro has that ability. He can drop deep. He can he can dictate the play from deeper in the field, up the field. But he's got fantastic vision. He's picking up those little pockets right in front of the defenders. Ammon has a stab. Trevor trying to get on. He's got Ciceroni to his left. Ball checked up. Tried to find Ross. Ross is turning. Oh, it just missed it short side. What an effort from the two attacking strikers here for Sacramento. Could be what you saw a season ago. That's pretty rare in the USL Championship. Serves right back in. Again, Tulsa down to 10 men. Going to give some opportunities like this for Sacramento. Three fresh bodies for FC Tulsa, but Sacramento still knocked on there. Here's Russ, and it's Rogovin with a stop again. He's 100% fit. He's ready to go lead this team towards another championship. Nick Ross fighting Ciceroni, fighting Roro again. Roro just missed it wide. But a lot of it. He said he didn't have many complaints. He said this team is focused. They're playing hard. They're following game plans. That's a good sense, but you got to play the full 90 plus. Here comes Yosef flying down the left side, trying to turn, trying to get a crack at it. It's still on top. And it's finally poked free, but not done yet. Here comes Rogers and sent away by Danny Vidiello. Mentally sharp for 90 plus minutes. It's a tough task for any club all season long. This one's played perfectly. Trying to swing on it was Pacheco. Seacrest comes back and it sneaks through. Oh, Patrick Seacrest was all over it. And it took a spiral at the very end there and right into the corner. And it's 1-1. And they've 
hung in this game for almost 40 minutes down a man and they finally get the reward Tulsa there's plenty of time left to play but it's a fantastic finish well there's one positive to the ball checking up Christian Pirano still dribbling with it trying to find a teammate Nick Ross inside right back to Pirano Roro will come to it and with Roro settling back a little bit probably limiting the amount of space he covers Probably part of the decision for Mark Briggs to put Pirano and Ricketts in at the same time. Ciceroni finding Gurr. Gurr is looking for a teammate. He's going to pop this one up. Looking for Ciceroni. Just kissed the top bar, but Rogami was able to get there. If it was Rodrigo Lopez, I think he would have shot that one, to be honest. <laughs> We've seen it before here. Roro. Gurr putting it back up. Oh, the mark. What a service from Gurr. Ciceroni again. And that could have been a really good opportunity for, for Tulsa. You, the legs of Yosef going against Rodrigo Lopez. Gurr is going to send this one in looking for Ciceroni. Ciceroni's got a head on it. And opportunity coming right back. Here's Roro. And three wondrous shots on goal. One has gone in. Lopez. Will send it into the corner for Ciceroni. Ciceroni and chase with Tate. Tate will send it out into the crowd in section 119. And that is the whistle.